Hello or welcome back. If you are new to the channel, I take you on hikes with me to enjoy beautiful places and to share how I do on location art. In this episode, I am driving up a forest service road on the northwest side of Mount Rainier National Park and hiking a few miles along the Grand Park Trail. Lake Eleanor is the destination. I set up my easel and do an 11 by 14 inch plain air oil painting. I'm hiking just after a rainy spell, so there are many mushrooms popping up. There are also still many huckleberries. Hello, I'm hiking the Grand Park Trail via Eleanor Lake. It's a trail that heads into Mount Rainier National Park, kind of from the backside from a Forest Service Road. It's a beautiful day here today in the Northwest, upper 60s, almost a little bit chilly up here in the mountains. Half the fun of this hike is getting here. The uh, drive up is beautiful. It can be a little scary for people who don't like heights. You're on a very narrow Forest Service Road. It's in good shape, but there are some ruts, so take your time, enjoy the drive. It's a relatively easy hike, about a mile and a half, mile and three quarters to the lake. I did this hike about five years ago, took some pictures at the pretty lake. I'm um, looking forward to getting back and doing an oil painting. A few lonely little huckleberries on the bushes along the trail. So many mushrooms here in the Pacific Northwest. A lot of these are edible. Um, some of them don't taste great. Some of them can give you a stomach ache. A few of them are poisonous, so before you forage and eat, make sure you go out and get trained. Um, chanterelles and porcini, oyster and lobster are all pretty easy to identify and delicious, well worth getting some training. Clouds are burning off, beautiful sunny glade. Those don't look so yummy. But the forest is beautiful through here. Deep and dark old growth. I love these incredible old trees. Look at this one gripping in the earth. It's been turned at some point, still growing strong and healthy, and its roots are just gripping the ground, holding on. Fantastic. You can just feel their life force out here in the forest. Recharges me. This trail has been really well maintained. All the logs have been cleared. There are some wet, muddy spots along the trail, but there's usually a way across. These little mushrooms look kind of like chanterelles, but they're not. They're the right color, but you can tell easily by the gills. Chanterelles have a gill or a rib that runs down the stem. So these are not chanterelles. 
I'm not sure what they are. I'm not sure if they're edible. Don't take uh, this video as guidance though on foraging mushrooms. Please go and find a mycologist if you're interested and get out there and find the real mushrooms. It's a fun hobby. It adds a whole new dimension to hiking. And if you have a cook that can use them and uh, make a dish, you'll never enjoy a meal as much as uh, one with mushrooms that you foraged. Here we are. First glimpse of Lake Eleanor. Beautiful day. Nice easy hike to get here. A few switchbacks and some elevation gain right at the end there, but not bad at all. A little bit breezy here. The sun is beautiful on the water. A few campsites, a few people camping. The trail splits at Lake Eleanor. It goes on to Grand Park, which has awesome views of Mount Rainier. There is a small, less well-kept <laughs> trail around the lake. I'm following that now, enjoying the views of the lake. But it is a bit of a scramble. You can see here I'm going to have to duck under this fallen log, which is not a problem. I'll keep walking, looking for a nice place to set up. Okay, here's the spot. Crystal clear lake, emerald green water. Beautiful place. Nice breeze blowing. No bugs so far except a big dragonfly. That was kind of cool. So I'll get set up, finish my cup of coffee, and get started. One of the first steps is to figure out the composition. What am I going to paint? Because I don't want to try to paint everything here. I don't have enough time. So that'll be next step after a cup of coffee is take a couple photos with my iPhone and try to figure out a good composition. I kind of like, well I like everything, but I like that uh, rock face on the mountain there. And I like that clump of trees sticking out in the middle ground in front of the hills in the background. I think I might change the landscape a bit to make a good composition. Okay, I'm all set up. I've got my easel set up with an 11 by 14 panel, unstained panel this time. I want to be able to pick up some of the light of the wood that is out there. Some of those dead trees standing up have a beautiful silver color. So I'm going with a larger panel this time as well because it's a beautiful day. I have some time. I'm here nice and early. So I think I can knock out a bigger painting. If you like these videos, please like and subscribe. Hit the bell as well so you get notified when I upload a new video. Please comment or ask questions below. You can see the weather is changing a lot here on the lake. The clouds are rolling through, the wind is picking up a bit. I'm kind of in the painting zone so I don't notice it so much, but it does make it a challenge to create a cohesive painting.
If the light changes too much, I try to go back to the most inspirational moment when the light was most interesting. Here I've mixed up the lightest lights. I'm using my palette knife to sharpen the tip of my small brush and to control the amount of paint on the brush. I'm also using the palette knife to scratch in fine detail. Later in the studio I'll replace some of these scratches with fine lines of paint, but some of the scratches I'll keep if they do the job. Well, let me show you what I got. I got finished. I had to rush at the end because it got very cold. Uh, clouds rolled in, the blue sky went away, and it actually started to rain just a little bit. But I had a good day. Uh, it was a beautiful day. Very peaceful here on the lake. Well, let me show you what I got. I kind of had to rush toward the end there and I didn't try to bring all the clouds that actually showed up into the painting. Beautiful lake, calm day, had a good time. I'll take it back to the studio and touch it up a bit and post it on my website. Thank you for joining me. Please remember to like and subscribe, it encourages me to make more. Tell me in the comments below if you have a favorite hike or a scene you would like to see painted.